Now I'm beginning to work my way out from that. I get in the darks first. Okay, so there's lots of browns in there. In general, with pastels, just like oil paints, once the underlay is in, I'm usually working dark to light. Okay, now that's not an exact science. Doesn't mean I can't pick up a light pencil. Doesn't mean that after I've finished it all, I can't go back in with a dark pencil. It's just a general rule. I'm looking at the reference, so if you look at my finished drawing, because you can see exactly where I'm going with it by me showing you the finished drawing. You can see I'm trying to get into dark areas going in the fur direction as it sweeps around here on this part of the eye going upwards as it goes around to the back of the eye and then down here you can see there's lots of these really dark areas but they're sitting underneath the light areas the light fur so that light fur I need to put on top now with pastels we can do that quite easily see it comes around and downwards I don't need a particularly sharp pencil for this I hardly ever sharpen my pencils until they go really blunt or until I need to put something very hard edged in so you see every few strokes then I twist the pencil around you see twirl it around then I do a few more strokes and I twirl it around that's keeping that conical shape on the edge on the end which means I don't have to keep sharpening it if I just held it in one place it would go flat within a couple of strokes and I'd need to keep sharpening it all the time because I'd have a wedged end on there now we're putting these darks in like this and not just blocking in a complete dark black area it means the lights that go on top shine brighter because they don't have lots of dark pastel underneath. Now this is where that underlayer is really coming into its own as well because you can still see a lot of the underlayer through these marks. Now around here we've got some of that brown colour. Now in my hand I've probably got about 10 different pencils that I'm using most frequently. So I'm not putting pencils back into my big set. See so that area is nice and brown and then it's a richer brown as I come outwards. And over here as well a richer brown. And then a quick rub with the finger that as I get I said again smudges it just a little but more important than that it stops the pastel sitting on the surface pushes it down into the tooth of the paper now up here we've got some more of those dark marks you see watch me twirl the pencil after every few strokes again And that becomes completely automatic. I don't even think or even realize that I'm doing it. I've done it so often now. I do a couple of marks and twirl the pencil. And then I'm softening that. Now this is real time speed. I've not sped this up okay so you don't have to rush when you're drawing and I'm not rushing but because I've got experience with this I know how quick I can actually go with it okay so now I'm going to carry on detailing and what I'm going to do because there's not much to say about it really it's more of a see what I'm doing watch what I'm doing I'm going to leave it in real time and uh, let it run talk a few pointers over the top if I feel there's um, any need for it but other than that I wanted to rather than speed this up just let you see exactly how I'm layering 
on top as you can see here going in the fur direction as always but you'll have the option if you want to speed the video up or jump sections at least it's there in real time if you want to sit through it and this is real time as you're seeing it now it looks quite fast but uh, as I said I've got a lot of experience with this now so I'd, I'll no doubt be going faster than you would be going but you can take absolutely as long as you want on each part but what I would say is sometimes if you go super slow and you're concerned over trying to match up every individual little tiny hair which you certainly don't need to it can all look too um, contrived too deliberate I find when I go that touch faster that um, my strokes look more natural, more organic. See how I'm going gradually lighter and lighter. Even using a pure white pencil. But if you use a pure white pencil, very, very lightly, it mixes with the colour underneath and doesn't come out pure white, as you can see. So I can use it very very lightly and it'll only just leave a tiny mark just a subtle mark or I can push a bit harder and get a defined mark so you don't have to keep swapping pencils continuously you see I'm just blending in the edge there because I don't want that too defined so to soften it make it more subtle that's so why I'm just touching it lightly with my fingers And then working my way out down here is really quite bright and I can come on top of these marks and kind of glaze later on use a color and just lightly go on top of them hope you've enjoyed this short YouTube video it's just basically a bit of an introduction to fur taken from one of my really long and in-depth tutorials over on my Patreon art channel. So if you want to learn further, there's literally hundreds and hundreds of hours worth of lessons on there from just a few dollars a month with no contract. Or you can go to my website and I've got downloads and DVDs and things on there as well. So I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you all again real soon.